Casualties, it's me Damaris and welcome to this um, to this week's late video. <laughs> um, I did, um, last week I didn't upload my video um, because I was having a really big hair crisis and I did dye my hair and I, do, I, don't really, I don't really like it. So I didn't really want to make a video but I actually did end up making a video and if you're interested in seeing that I'll probably upload it but... Thumbs up, maybe I'll upload it because it is all edited, but I'm just like not sure if I should or not because it's kind of late. So yeah, anyways, um, this week on Social Casualties, we're doing um, Fanfic Week. And let's, um, let's, I don't, let's, what is fanfiction? <laughs> let's look up an urban, um, urban dictionary. Written by a fan of featuring characters from a particular TV series, movie, etc. So... We're gonna read a fan fiction. Um, who sent my fan fiction? Oh my god, Amber sent me my fan fiction, so um, I'm not supposed to read it, and I kind of read the first time she gave it to me. She had to send me another one. Sorry, Amber. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I'm a loco. Anyway, it's right here, and if you're interested, I'll send you the link. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Hey love, it's October 5th, just a couple months until I'm coming home. I'm getting anxious to see you again. It's our two year anniversary this month. I wish I could be with you to celebrate it. Maybe we could do something when I get back, yeah? We'll do something fun, I promise. Well, I gotta go. Luke needs help with something. Probably how to cook something, who knows with them, right? Well alright then, I love you baby girl. Love always, Callum. It's October 31st, also known as Halloween, also known as our anniversary. The boys and I are going trick-or-treating today, going to show off our childish ways like we normally do. We're dressing up as girly things. I'll send you a picture on our phone later. I'm being a princess. That should get you to laugh, right? I hope so. We'll FaceTime for a little while later. Cannot see your face on our anniversary, right? I'll go now. I think we're getting Ashton in his costume. We're making him be a cat woman. Should be funny. I love you. Love always, Callum. It's November 10th today. We're playing in this huge arena today. I'm really excited, but I'm also really nervous. It's going to be the most amount of people we've played forever. More people than when we were on tour of One Direction, if that tells you anything. I can't remember how many people are going to be there, but I remember it's way more than we used to. I hope I don't screw up. I gotta keep our fans proud, right? That means I can't mess up. I know if you were here, you'd be telling me that if I mess up, the fans won't care, and I know that. But it's still the point. We're backstage right now. The dressing room is really big. The guys say hi, by the way. They miss you almost as much as I do. We're going on stage in 10 minutes. This means you should probably go put on some pants. <laughs> well, I love you. Love always, Callum. November 11th. We had so much fun playing at the arena yesterday. Definitely the best crowd we've had on this tour. I didn't mess up on stage either. I hope you're still proud of me for this, even if I do have to leave you for months on end sometimes. I'm glad I have you and that you understand that I can't always be there physically for you. You're such an amazing girl. Honestly, you're so perfect and I love you so much. Can't wait to get back, get back to you. Love always, Callum. Hey babe, it's November 20th, one month until I get back. Can't wait to see you again. Well, I see you a lot before because we FaceTime, but I just can't wait to see you in person again. Six months is a long time to be away from your smiling face. I love touring a lot, but, well, I love you more. Well, that was really cheesy, but it was true. Well, I'll go now. We're going on stage any minute now. I love you. Love always, Callum. Hi Damaris, it's almost time for me to come home. I'm so excited to see you again. This letter is going to be pretty short because we're on our way to a meeting. But I'll just tell you a few things. One, the boys still miss you a lot and I think that Luke is missing you as much as me, seeing out as he's your best friend. Two, I wrote you a song. I'll sing it to you when I get home. I think you'll like it. Three, I love you more than anything in this entire world and I cannot wait to see your smiling face. I got a text message, sorry. Love always, Callum. It's December 12th, babe. I'm coming home in just eight days. Just eight days until I have you in my arms again. Eight days until I get to kiss you again. Eight days until I get to be with my favorite person in the whole world. I hope you're as excited to see me as I am to see you. It feels like it's been forever since I last got to hold you. I miss your touch. Well, I'll go now. I love you. Love always, Callum. It's now December 18th. Two days until I see you again. I can't wait. I'm so anxious that the guys had to calm me down because I wouldn't shut up. I think I'm knowing them a little of how much I've been talking about you the past couple days. Oh well. They'll understand when they get girlfriends. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna try and get some sleep. 
I love you. Love always, Callum. It's December 19th, the day before I would be able to see you. Unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna happen. I'm so sorry, Damaris. I just, I don't know what happening, what's happening right now, but it's not good and I think I'm not gonna make it. The bros broke down last night in this rundown city. It's really scary here, I don't like it. I'm on the bus alone right now. I'm hiding in the back room thing right now. I'm under the small bed back there. You know the, that one that I showed you before we left? That one, I'm scared. There are guys in the bus right now. They know I'm here. What if they find me? I'm so freaking scared right now. I don't want them to find me. I can hear them getting closer to the room. I saw them walking by before they came into the bus. They have a gun. I don't want them to find me. I hear them coming closer and closer to the room. I should write quicker and try and finish up this letter just in case. Well, you know. Remember the time I took you to the beach and you buried me in the sand and you threatened to leave me there because I said something mean? That was a fun memory. Remember when I asked you out two years ago? Halloween might have not been the best day to ask you out, but whatever. I remember you were going as someone from one of your video games that I never learned the name of. You looked cute. I didn't dress up as anything because I was too lazy to buy a costume or make one. It looked so pretty that night at that party Ashton had. I was so happy he invited you even though you and him were never that close at the time. I remember the first day we met. We were both 15 and you had just moved to my city. I thought you were so pretty. Your hair was in a ponytail high on your head and you looked really cute in a school uniform. I remember thinking to myself I had to talk to her. I love everything about you. Your eyes and how they sparkle when you smile. Your smile when someone says something, something you find funny. Your laugh when I tell you a bad joke. Your kisses because they were always so sweet and simple. Your curves because they were so perfect even if you said they weren't sometimes. I love your cuddles because they made me feel happy. I love to wrap my arms around you when you were upset. I never liked you being upset, but when you were, I always loved to be there for you and stop you from crying your heart out. I'm sorry I won't be able to do that once you read this letter. I know you'll cry. I mean, hey, I'm crying right now writing it. I hope you won't be too sad when you read this. I don't like it when you're sad, especially if it's because of me. Remember a few things for me, okay? Remember that I love you with everything in me. Remember all of our happy memories we made together. Remember that I'm still there with you no matter what. I might not be there physically, but I will always be in your heart as long as you allow me to be. Remember to fall in love again. Fall for someone that's good to you, someone that will love you as much as I do. Take care of the boys for me, yeah? Don't let this get in the way of their dreams. Tell them to continue without me if they have to. Tell them I said that it's okay to get a new bass player. I won't be mad, I promise. As long as they're good for the band and don't mind having to be around the three idiots called my best friends, they better like you too. You and the guys are a package deal, especially you and Luke. Just take care of them for me, okay? And let them be three there for you too. Don't block them out. They're gonna need you and you're gonna need them. Take care of my family too, okay? They love you two bits and would hate to lose you because I'm not there anymore. The guys are in the bedroom now. I can see their feet. I think they can hear me crying. I'm sorry, I can't see your face again. I love you so much. Don't ever forget about me, okay? Tell everyone how much I love them and to never forget me either. I'll always, I'm always here for you all. I guess this is goodbye for now, but don't worry. I'll see you again someday. I love you so much. I'm going to go now. I hope you get this letter. Love always, Callum. Oh. So Callum died. <laughs> oh my god. That's, that was cute. Um, that wasn't really cute. That's actually really sad. Um... So yeah, um, that was sad, and there's a little picture of Callum right there. Hi Callum, how you doing? I'll link it down below, and yeah. So thank you very much guys for watching this, and um, hearing my, not really my reaction, because like, it wasn't really much to react to, because it was just like really slow, so it wasn't like a dirty fan fiction like I seen Jane Dawson do, he's like, ooh, girl. It wasn't like that, so I'm actually really happy, because like, I don't really feel comfortable reading that kind of stuff. So yeah, so have a magical day full of rainbows and unicorns, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye!